Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna talk about what's going to happen with the housing market for investors and non-investors if Joe Biden were to get elected as President of the United States. Hey guys, this is Daniel, one half of the Quack Brothers. In this video, we're gonna be talking about what happens to the housing market if Joe Biden were to get elected as President of the United States. Now, before we go ahead and move on, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click like on this video as well. Now guys, I already covered about a couple weeks ago a video on what happens typically to the housing market during election times, how housing markets, both commercial real estate and non-commercial real estate, how they get affected because of the election. So if you guys wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the video. Now, if you don't wanna spend the 11 minutes watching the video and watch me do a thorough breakdown on what happens to commercial and residential real estate during election times, I'll just sum it up literally in 30 seconds with three main points. Point number one being that typically commercial real estate gets affected more so by local, state, and county ordinances and governance as opposed to the residential housing market being affected by the overall federal election. Point number two being that the housing market and the commercial real estate investing market typically does historically tend to do better if a president who prioritizes the economy more so than anything else is in office. And last but not least, point number three being that housing prices typically tend to drop between the months of October and November during election years. Now here's what I think is going to happen in the next three to six months to kind of preface this conversation on what I think is gonna happen if Joe Biden were to get elected. Now guys, you guys have seen a lot of videos from me the last three, four, five, six months with the housing markets, with what I think is gonna happen in 2021, and so has the rest of YouTube it seems like. Well, to kind of summarize in very short layman's terms what I think is gonna happen with the housing market in the next three to six months, I believe there's gonna be a 2021 housing market crash. I also do believe that inventory will skyrocket. And I believe having said that, banks will have a lot of issues with REOs. And I believe that banks will have a lot of initiatives that very cash heavy, very short term cash oriented initiatives for lending in all banks of all sizes, whether that's big, small, medium community, does not matter. Now, having said that, right, I believe those things are going to happen regardless of who's in office, whether it be uh, Joe Biden, whether it be Donald J. Trump, or whether it even be Kanye West, right? I do not know who's going to be in office, but I do believe those things will happen in 2021, regardless of who's in the Oval Office. Now, the reality is, is that the president doesn't have as much power as we think we do when it comes to changing or influencing the economy. Because, I mean, let's think about this for a second, right? Congress controls fiscal policy. Uh, the Federal Reserve controls monetary policy. And well, even if the president instituted policies that will influence the housing market in some way, shape, or form, or perhaps even directly, it will take a significant amount of time for the housing market to even see that. So overall, before we continue with the video, right, let's at least acknowledge the fact that presidents do not have as much power when it comes to influencing the economy. I believe all those things that I said will happen regardless of who's in office. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this one thing that I do believe will in fact impact real estate housing market, especially real estate investors, and that's the tax policies of either candidates, whether if Trump were to get reelected or if Joe Biden were to get elected as the new president-elect, it doesn't matter, right? I do believe depending on the tax policies of if Biden were to win, that could change a lot of things, especially for investors. Now, for the non-investor individuals living in their personal residence, I believe it won't affect them as much. Aside from their personal income, I do not see specifically when it comes to real estate and housing market, uh, a lot of Joe's tax policies or policies in general affecting the housing market. However, when it comes to investments and real estate investors like myself and my brother, I do believe there are two major things that could happen based on what we're already seeing from Joe Biden's tax policy. Now let's start with the first one, which is repelling the step up in basis. Now guys, this is a huge, huge change for us, especially for guys like me, Sam, and other YouTubers who advocate and who push for rental real estate. You know, my mentor once told me, Daniel, if you wanna be rich, uh, go flip houses, go wholesale, right? Uh, if you wanna be wealthy, however, uh, look to buy a rental portfolio, right? And look to accumulate a collection of rental properties. So I believe that this is gonna be huge, especially repelling the step up in basis because, well, that affects the capital gains tax significantly. Now, what is the capital gains tax? Well, let me give you an example. Let's say you buy a property for $100,000 today and you hold on to that property. It does very well for you, it cash flows. Uh, there's not a lot of problems. Let's say it's a perfect world. Now, let's say that 30 years from now, you wanna sell that property and that property is now worth 
$200,000. Well, there's a difference between the time that you bought it in terms of value, between the time that you're selling it, and that difference is $100,000. That is known as a capital gain. And well, right now that capital gain tax rate max is 25% meaning that if you were to sell the building for $200,000, you would pay 25% of that $100,000 that you gained in value during the time that you owned that piece of real estate, which means $25,000 that you would have to pay. Now, here's what's very interesting. Now, that step up in basis happens when you know you one day leave the earth like we all will, and that asset goes to your beneficiaries, whether that be your kids, whether it be uh, whoever you list, right? It could be a spouse, kids, whoever. Now the step up in basis as it exists means that if you were to have that value be $200,000, you pass away, that gets passed off to your kids. Now that basis goes from $100,000 to $200,000, meaning that if they were to sell the property that you pass off to them, that $25,000 tax bill would be no more because, well, that basis would go from 100,000 to then 200,000 and there is no difference for them to pay that 25% tax rate. So if Joe Biden were to get elected and well, he would repeal that step up in basis, which he's looking to do in his proposed policy, that would go away. And obviously that's not a good look for individuals who want to pass off rental real estate to their offsprings and to their beneficiaries like myself, like Sam, and other individuals who are looking to create that generational wealth factor. Let's go on to number two. Number two is the increase to 39.6% on income and dividends. Now, let me explain to you why this is really important, especially for us real estate investors, because, well, the value of our real estate is contingent and based on our net operating income, aka the NOI. Now that net operating income is the income that a real estate property or asset is going to produce for us after expenses such as insurance, maintenance, management, and of course you guessed it, taxes. Meaning that if that tax bill gets higher like Joe Biden is proposing in his policy, well that would decrease the net operating income thus decreasing the value of that real estate. Whether it be an apartment complex, whether it be storage unit, whether it be a hotel, retail, you name it, office complex, industrial warehouse, right? That higher tax rate is going to decrease the value of that piece of real estate, thus obviously creating a negative effect for guys like us, guys like you and I, who are looking to acquire pieces of real estate. Lower value means a lot of things for us, right? It means that higher risk with the bank. It means a higher loan to value ratio, right? It also means lower cash flow and lower returns that we can provide for our investors. So it may do a lot of things in real estate with that change in Joe Biden's tax policy that could produce a lot of negative things for us as real estate investors. Now guys, I'm not one way or the other. Truthfully, personally, if you wanna ask my personal opinion, I do my best personally to get as much information as possible and listen to as many people as possible. So that way I can educate myself and give the information to you guys on our YouTube channel. But however, the more information that I do find about Joe Biden's tax policy, the more negative things that I do think will affect the real estate market and the housing market in general. So again, guys, I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think is gonna to happen to the housing market and even the real estate investment market if Joe Biden were to get elected as president of the United States? Comment down below what your thoughts are. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like.